Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut. We're going to get a rush on this review for Premium Rush. I'm sorry, it was very punny. Couldn't resist. Anyway, we get the story of Wiley, played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Now, Wiley's one of the best bike messengers in New York City. New York City? Somebody get a rope. Sorry. Couldn't, again, couldn't help myself. Anyway, well, when Wiley gets this package that has the interest of a dirty cop, we spend the movie seeing him trying to escape getting caught by the dirty cop and getting his package delivered on time. Plus, we learn how, you know, in details about the package as well as details about the past uh, he uh, life of our hero and as well as some other fill-in-the-blank stuff, okay? Let me tell you about Premium Rush. It's not a hugely deep plot, okay? It's a basic plot. We've seen this type of thing before. What makes this fun is all the actors in it do just a great job, and no one's trying to do Academy Award winning movie here. They're just doing this fun film, and let me tell you, it's a lot of fun, okay? With the bike ride scenes through New York traffic, the POV shots were great. In the scenes where they get Wiley trying to figure out where the best route is to go as he comes up on intersections was directed fantastically. It was similar to Sherlock Holmes type of feel, you know, getting the plan out ahead of time, but it wasn't jarring nor did it feel forced at any time. You got a great supporting cast in here. All the characters are lovable and fun. Okay, even the bad guy, Michael Shannon, who's going to be General Zod in the upcoming Man of Steel, if he brings the intensity that he brought to his villain dirty cop that was in Premium Rush, man, I am so looking forward to seeing him in that role. He just owns every scene he's in, and when he gets in the scenes with Joseph Gordon-Levitt, the two play off each other, and the chemistry is so much there. Folks, there is no mystery that they are, you know, these guys aren't making the Academy Award winning film, nor are they making a summer blockbuster. I love this season because you get some of these gems of films in here who are just making a film for entertainment value, and that is exactly what Premium Rush is. It's the most kinetic movie I've seen without explosions this year, okay? Even in the slower parts, it just seems to keep moving, and it's the fastest feeling 90 minutes of a film that I've seen in quite a while. Folks, Premium Rush is definitely worth your time and money. Everybody does well in it. It's got some uh, tense parts. It's got some flat comical parts. It's got some all kinds of bits in between. It's not a heavy movie, but it's a fun movie, which is what we need uh, now and then in our cinema. Four stubs for Premium Rush. It's worth your time, your money, and your effort. Go see it this weekend with some friends. I'm sure you're going to come out smiling or at least go, wow, you know, that wasn't a bad movie at all. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep the tickets stopped.